Techno Cross from Cross Performance Shop. Also, AK Wood, Hollywood cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We out here is Sunday. DMP, what? M I R X D A yep. Sunday. What you looking like out there today, Surrounded? What well, you got going on? We're trying to get on? that quick 32. I made the field barely with an 815. I'm number 30, so I got to face the number three. 815 made the 30 on spot? Yeah, I'm facing yeah. somebody that went a 760. Well, it don't matter. Them fans might got to get their business done. It's they all breaking ain't it? They all got to get on the trailer one by one. That's Top Sportsman. Uh huh. Oh, man, you got some tough folks over there at Top Sportsman. Man, you got yep. to run it. Got the Robin, Robin Procopio. Runny. You got uh, Dustin Lee. PG, Pablo Gonzalez. Pablo, number one qualifier. He won a 749, almost 200 miles an hour. Good God almighty. Bracket racing? Bracket racing. <laughs> well, look here, man. That's my cousin Randall. Hey, man, I'm finna go on up here to the starting line. I want to give y'all a heads up today. We're going to be live again on HollywoodDragRacing.com. Y'all see the logo? There it is. You can put it right in your phone. Right in your iPad, whatever, just let us see the all day Hollywood drag racing. We about to find over the Sunday morning. We got to get up early this morning, do a 10 o'clock session this morning for qualifying. So, at any rate, Y'all check us out, HollywoodDragRacing.com. I know y'all seeing me right now on Facebook, YouTube, so forth. This stuff gonna be turned off and gonna be on, on the website. It's elimination day, so we gotta get the analytics. I appreciate y'all doing that. Appreciate y'all bearing with us, enjoying the entertainment. You coverage from me in two days on live show. So next time we come next weekend, uh, uh, the Man Cup next weekend, you'll be able to see some of that ca that capability again. We did some in Huntsville. Come back up here to Virginia next time. We definitely gonna have it for the XDA folks. They put a good show on. It's been tight. It's been good. You know, few incidents where bikes did not have blankets. Put a lot of oil down on track. You know, you guys got you guys and women who actually race out here on the track. Got to start being a little bit more mindful of. The oil, the, the antifreeze, no reason to have no antifreeze or no bike at this point in the game when you're coming out here unless it's a street bike that you rode in on. You know, these things are really hard for the track crew to get uh, cleaned up. any rate, let's go roll around. We'll give y'all a little money, little Sunday roll around. Let y'all see the sights and sounds of racetrack. Keep my big mouth closed for a little while. Then I'm going to tee y'all off on this and send y'all back to the network. 10-4. I'm going to ride down here a little bit, man. i see you in a minute. All right. Thank you for the business, too. All right. Put a muffin in there too. Uh, oh, well, he missed the muffin. <laughs> he said, I don't want another chicken biscuit though. <laughs> all right, damn man, that's what's up. Sunday morning, usually just all race day for us. The day done started off doing, you know, we starting off this morning with some um, qualifying. A little, like I said, we had last last minute of qualifying, last round of qualifying come up because of a few incidents that happened on the track. Yesterday, you know, a couple uh, bikes went down in, 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 in the fast street bike classes and uh, my understanding the racers and all of them are really there okay. Uh, got some injuries that they got to take care of, but uh, for the most part, I understand that everybody's good. You know, just a little sore. What's up? What's up, man? The fastest bracket bike in the world. <laughs> I got to come over here and say Y'all check out my man Pablo Gonzalez over here, Puerto Rico team. Hey, which one of these bike went 740? Let me see that bike. <laughs> that is a bad boy. Good morning. What it is? Good morning. Hey, what's up, Pablo? What's going on? What you going to use? 740s? 740s. We went 739 Friday. God, that <laughs> is crazy fast, man. You bracket racing? Bracket racing on that one, yeah. Say, hello, say, say what's up to your friends in Puerto Rico, oh, man. Oh, oh. Saludos saludo a todos, Puerto Rico, como siempre, el apoyo genuino. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Tempranito para esperar a ver qué hacemos aquí hoy. Ah, bueno, 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 bueno. Good. Let me see. Bien. Yeah. This one. This uh, one? Fuel tech. That one right here? Yeah, control. God. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to be consistent, you know, the, yeah. what we want on the bracket racing. Right. Yes. So, so let me turn around so I can get the sun out your eyes and get you good. So, what's what's up? with you going to go back and do your, any more of your pro stocking? I will try, you know, that I wrecked the bike yeah. uh, in the last race of the Man Cup. Yeah. So uh, I'm planning to be back uh, at the end of this year. Is it pretty? Yeah. Is it is it pretty bad, Rick? Yeah, the bike? Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. So y'all, yeah, you you want to go back though, right? I you got the engines? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the engine is good. So so far, I think it's, it's a a good sign, you know. So. Okay. The well, most expensive thing is is, is the engines mostly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, man, appreciate you, man. Congrats. You Good luck today, man. You, you got a lot of work to do today. How many bikes you going to be riding today? Uh, three. <laughs> you always busy. <laughs> Y'all work Pablo too hard. Mucho trabajo. Trabajo. Mucho trabajo. Trabajo, right? Trabajo, yeah. Trabajo, Mucho trabajo. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all later, man. All right. That's my man, Pablo Gonzalez, man. One of the toughest racers in the country right there, man. On the street bike, pro stop bike. He's a good rider. Great person. You know, you gotta love people like this. They come out there, they give it they all for the sport, man. And uh, let's ride on down a little bit more, man. We got morning, good morning. Hey, man, I want to see this bike right here. This is boy, it's the old school with all the new technology on it. I seen it yesterday. I see the tuck, it got the turbo, the fuel tech, and everything on that with the old. Push button start. Push button start. Hey man, I'm Hollywood, man. It's all about that. Who, who are you, man? Rodney from Calvary County, Maryland. Okay, tell me, tell me about the bike, man. Oh, this the OG KZ900, the yeah. one you used to have the high speed wobble yeah. back in the day yeah. and everything, well, man. We will kill you. We will kill uh, you. Talk to it. Let's it show us. 74, 74 Z1R, uh -huh. 1200 cc's, T3, uh, T4 uh, turbo. Man, I seen that thing yesterday. I said, well, that's a bad thing. You know, just, you know, I like stuff like that. Uh, LS3 Supercharged. Uh -huh. well, this is nice, man. Thank you. What made you go back and do the old school, man? I'm an old head. That's what we do. Elsa said. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet y'all, man. I'm going to roll down there. What's uh, going on, you team? On YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'm on I'm on Facebook and YouTube right now, but go to HollywoodDragRacing.com. Okay, okay, okay. We streamed the whole rate weekend, 12 hours yesterday and 12 hours the day before. So all your passes, all your passes on there. Hollywood. HollywoodDragRacing.com. Go on there, subscribe, and create an account. Like, create an account. The fun ain't no, and the little kids can't come. That's where they're at, all right? That's the grown folks. That's the grown folks room. All right, now, thank y'all for your time, man. That's a nice piece. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Morning, good morning. I tell you folks what's up, man. What's up? All right, that's what's happening. All right, let me roll on down here a little bit so I can get the camera set up. Boss, boss, boss. Yeah, I'm yeah, man. What's going on with you? How you doing today, Will? Well, this old Maryland track been throwing some curve, curve balls up here with this weather, ain't it, man? Yes, it's, it's, it's gonna be all right, though. Where you at right now? Uh, what y'all qualifying and everything? What I kind of numbers y'all? Like 14, we ran a 62 with a five. Man, so that mean I gotta be like number 12, 13 yeah. or something right by now. What you, 61? 61 by. 61 by, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go ahead and yeah. tighten up this round. Double them 60s, man. Just popping them up like it wasn't nothing yesterday. <laughs> popping them up like it wasn't nothing. Any, any idea? I mean, what, what, what was the big change that, that took place that kind of just kept throwing you off? I know me, but I'm gonna listen to you what you got to say by choice. This weekend for me, we both been trying to work at me trying to get the bike consistent. Him trying to get his license consistent. Uh -huh. I told him to go ahead and get familiar with the track. Roll in as deep as you need to. If it throw my time off a little bit, that's what it is. I'll figure it out. Right. So he been inching in, inching in, inching in. I ain't really touched the tune up since Thursday. Right. We ran a six, a 61, qualified with a 62. He started rolling in, trying to get his reaction time a little better. And I think we went a 66 yesterday. But I told him that's fine. The 60 fell off, everything fell off, every single number. But um, I'm gonna indicative put it of him, day. indicative of him taking more roll in on, right. on at the stage right, right there. So right. people who don't know what it means, what, what, what he means that when you stage a bike, as soon as you pre-stage, as soon as you stage, as soon as you stage, and light goes on, that's the most shallow that we can go. Right. 
Now, for us who race all the time, you understand that in, in qualifying, that's all we gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do is go shallow as I can so my data can stay straight. Yeah. Once I get my data straight, I might go in there and take one of them plugs. There y'all go, JT back yeah. there. But after that data get in there, then I might take a plug, my last run right. for the tree just to see if I'm there. I mean, so with doing that with your guys, does that mean that you learn something new that y'all maybe want to take? How you start your day, your weekend? Definitely, definitely here in VMB we'll we'll start we'll start rolling in a lot deeper. Uh -huh. Try to get consistent there. But as far as any other track, most of the rollout the rollouts weren't that weren't that long. Yeah, VMP and MIR. We at MIR now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of those, they got something for you right there. <laughs> yeah. But well, they might be the right rollout. I don't think it's a right or wrong. It's yeah, it's just what it is for that track. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That track, that sanction, because some people come in, they set it up themselves. Yeah. So. And I know that you got a track, so you know as yeah, exactly how I go. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? I appreciate that, Will. I'm going to ride on down here and see what's going on, man. What's up, bro? All right. All right, that's my man, Will Garner Jones from the T.T. Jones family. Angela Jones' son, Big Will, crew chief of the year. Top 50 Sports Illustrated in the whole nine yards and some. So that's a good dude to know. What's going on with you? Hey, champ. Hey, man. You might well have just stayed on that. You might well just stayed on that stage yesterday, <laughs> man. Hey, I turned around and said, Dustin, just stay up there, man. Just stay up there, man. How many of those big boy awards did you take home yesterday, uh, man? Three yesterday. One of them was a number five plate, though. I wasn't really happy about that. But Robin was beside me before. <laughs> I love me some Robins. So, yeah. Uh, it was a pretty good day. That was that. That was that must have been top sports, but. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You won championships in what class? 560, and then I got, uh, I think it was second in Pro ET or third. Right. Second, I think. Hey, um, man. The uh, top sportsman, I had one race first round, the bike keep the chain off, and that got me. That, that, that's what got me. I had two motors last year, the last yeah. race, and then went damn number seven. I, that was a lucky number seven. No. It really hurt when I got my ticket and I was 012 and they kicked the chain off about 60 foot. I was like, man. But that's just racing. You know I mean, but you one of the toughest racers I know, man. I don't know about tough. I'm just persistent. I won't give up. That's the way I am. I won't give that up. That for sure. I'm always going to be here. What, 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 tell me a little bit about the bike you did. Which one is which? I mean, that's, that's a, it's seven. Bike. That's a yeah. seven. They show me a little bit, man. You 782 know, bike dialed in. Uh, running the quarter at 782. Yeah, with a, with a fat guy on it, right? See, he ain't no baby. You look slim yeah. to me, baby. You lost a little <laughs> bit of weight. Yeah, you look like you're slimming down to me. It's also my top gas bike. You see me running 510 8th mile and stuff. So check this out. What kind of, what's the setup here? So this thing is a, of course, a Gen 2 Busa. Uh -huh. It's got an AP 9mm crank, CP 84mm pistons, Benson Hines head, webcams. And it's got a hundred shot on a progressor and an eighty shot on a button. So it's got a hundred. The eighty shot is the panic button. Oh, yeah. that's if it wheelies or spins, or I feel like the box slowed up. I can make it go where I want it grab to it, go. Grab it, grab it right. back a little bit. Yeah, I, I use it. It's a tool, you know, just like everything else. Um, I'm not even put like right now. It has it's leave it on fifteen percent, holding it for like two point six. Yeah. Ramp super slow. Yeah. But you know, it still goes sevens because it's just got big power. But at the end of the day. I could probably run 740s, but it don't pay no different to do that. So might be easy it, on it. Yeah, easy. Cause last, you got a long season. Yeah, last year that motor made 360 runs and never come out of the frame. And, and you built it. Yeah, I pulled it apart. Everything looked great. I put new rings in it. I actually that was the second season on the pistons, so I put new pistons. All new bearings, new cam chain. Maybe it made some times with the head over for me. Put it back together and she's ready to go. Hopefully for another 300 passes. So 300 passes here, and this is one of the this is the built the more built motor. So yeah. that mean that dog thing out there probably ain't never took apart. Well, I take it apart because I like keep it on top of things. But yeah, that bike out there gets the snot beat out of it. It's a 1441 stock yeah. crank. Uh, it's got Creole AB rods, you know, minor stuff. Uh, Rayman City done the head you, you built that as well, 100%. Yeah, yeah, How can everybody everybody hook up with you? I, I mean, yeah, I met you when we started race. I, you know, I'm a little older, so I didn't know you when you came. You yeah, didn't know me. But yeah. at any rate, you know, how do they hook up with you if they want to get some work done or something I mean, like that? Facebook Messenger, that thing dings constantly. I'm always on there talking to people. Of yeah. course, I got a website, hardtimesparts.com. Hardtimesparts.com, y'all yeah. hear them. I sell all the performance parts, anything I run. I sell. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know that was you, Hard Times. Really? I did not know that. Really? I yeah. swear to God, I did not know that. I got a story that. behind that. So I sold, you know, I've 
and I always just broke. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I was younger, I would you know sell parts at my dad's shop. I worked. He had a salvage yard. Yeah. I worked for him, and I would sell new race parts just on the side. Right. And I always said, you know, sometimes when you have hard times, you got to work double. You got to have two jobs. Got to have two jobs. I've been having one new long time. When I decided to go full on with the business, I'm like, man, it was always hard times. So. It just stuck. It don't, you know, it ain't really uh, appealing to some people. No, nah, it's cool. Story. It's cool to me. I like yeah. it. I like because you know it, it speaks to who you are, yeah, man. It's I mean, got a story behind it. I'm J two plumbing. Everybody's like, how you get with J two? I was like, well, I'm a Jackson. My dad was a Jackson, right. but my dad didn't want to do no plumbing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I walked him into that first plumbing job. He told me, I think you got the J one. You got the J one down. <laughs> I told him, Mr. I told Mr. The business that we in, man, you just gotta like it, you gotta I want it. The your logo is Jackson Square. Yeah, that's right? what that's exactly yeah, what it was, but it was J Two Plumbing, yeah. J Square Plumbing, man. Hey, man, good coming here talking to you, champ, man. Hey, you're here, buddy. The live videos and stuff are great. Hey, man, I could, I was gonna have four cameras, but my producer took the day. He had a weekend with his wife. So I just I just dropped the one up there yeah. and let it roll and everybody can see it twelve. It's twenty four hours of live on there, man. Yeah, I went back. I'm like, man, he's wearing it out all day long. Let People it sit. People don't realize how much work that is to keep the cameras going, the batteries working. You're putting in the work, it's, and you're trying to race. And I'm racing, yeah, <laughs> yeah and traveling and everything man. else. But I love it, man. I love the sport. I love what we're trying to do with. You know, we're all business owners, so why don't we own our everything that we do? Is how I looked at it. That's kind of how I looked at it. That's why I went in. That's why when series need sponsors, yeah, that's, I throw it out there. I mean, I sponsor the Gamblers Race here, STBA. I sponsor the shootout. Yeah, I give a bunch of other smaller series money, and I feel like if I do that, it helps the races keep going. They'll keep coming back. It keeps it keeps the circle going, man. We're family, take care real family, man. Love that. Better than real family a lot of times. Love that about that, man. You're right about that. And this and this is our 868 bike down there. And you said it's a 1400 and something right here. Yeah, so it, it's just a stock crank. It's got uh, three mil overboard pistons. Uh, Rayman sitting in the head on this bike. This little mild bracket setup that you can beat up. Uh -huh. It's actually running really good this weekend. It went up 68 last night. I think that's probably the fastest it's ever been. And I'm pulling six degrees of timing out of it. So, and this is this is a Holly EFI as well. Both of your bikes are identical, pretty much, minus the motor. Combination. Yeah, I try to keep them close as I can. This one's a little shorter. The other one's got a bigger motor. This one's just got like a little 50 shot of nitrous if I need it. Never hardly uh -huh. use it. The other one's got a whole bunch of nitrous and it lives on nitrous. So everybody that needs some parts, you having hard times, hard times. Yeah, tell them, I tell them how to find you, baby boy. I will make them hard times easy. I'll help you out. Uh, hardtimesparts.com, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, Hard Times Parts and Service on Facebook. Just get in touch with him. He got you. you. Hit one up. I got you. Appreciate you, Dustin, you, man. That's a champ right there, man. We'll talk to you later. Look at that. Bought, not built. Look at the, the builders over here talking together this morning. <laughs> it's around the cross there, man. What's going on? What we got going on, man? How you doing today? How'd you do this weekend so far? We, we, we still trying to do. You still trying to do? Don't let him be hiding that on you. This is the Street EG Champion. What, two in a row? Two in a row? So far. Come talk to me. See that? Hand clutching. Hand clutch. True hand clutch champion. Two years in a row? Oh, man, you dope, man. Tell me who you're... What's your name? Where you from? Give a formal induction, man. I'm from the country, man. I'm, I'm Derek Milborn. I'm from uh, Bournemouth, Virginia. Uh, been doing this for a while now, maybe 10 years. Years, 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 years. Uh, my whole family bought it. I'm trying to get my daughter into it now, bring her up and doing it, and uh, maybe step aside. Man, if I were a, hey, if I were to for the coin, you pin you right now, I'd probably say you the quiet killer, boy, because you so quiet over here right there. But you see he deadly, boy. He's quiet up there. He's deadly up there, boy. Y'all, man, I just let everybody get their shine the way it's supposed to be. I don't want to step on nobody's toes, you know. Yeah. I, I, I'll get my time when I get it. Hey, man, you know what? I know one thing for certain, that if you won two championships back-to-back, -back, hand clutch up here, XDA, you a bad man, man. Try. Hey man, good congratulations on that. Man, and you know, I do it every weekend. I stay, I stick to it. I don't quit. I know you ain't married then, are you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you married to the race game? Right here. Me too, man. To I feel like game. I get married to the game too, yeah, man. man. I ain't got no problem with it. Hey, yeah, I don't plan on divorcing it either, so we good. <laughs> we good. Well, you know, some people who like him, he lucky. His wife married to the game too, man. <laughs> it's a family thing. It's a family thing. And Ryder and Ryder gonna be right here too. You know that, and right? She's strong and she's sharp too. And she saying? can ride. Yeah, yes, yes, exactly. yes, yes. Hey man, so we was talking about something yesterday, and he was just telling me he was talking about the true hand clutch. I was thinking we could probably do like a a true hand clutch, 72 inch short bike, 
Arrow and Air 460 class? I mean, I'm 112 pounds. So Soaking wet. If they want to deal with that, I will ride whatever somebody want me to, you know, ride. How can they find you if they were really uh, serious Facebook, about it? Facebook, Derek Melbourne. Uh, Instagram, Derek Melbourne. And if you're really serious and uh, mess with me, I'll give you my phone number. All right, 10 four, man. Yes, we're going we to ease on down here. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. We'll see y'all in a little bit. We're going to roll on down, down here a little bit and see some more. That was pretty cool, man. Got a chance to meet two champs, three champs in one spot. All of us done won the championship, so that was kind of cool. Champion beat. A Sunday's champion get together. <laughs> I like that. We'll keep on rolling down here. We'll see what they have got going on. We got a whole lot of DME bikes around here. I see that. What's going on, man? What my man Spencer Clay come man? He in there sleep. Tell him I said what's up. All right. Got my man John Hall here, the Blue Brown Day Team, Brown Racing. Mac Mac Adams, Queen of the South, Megan Petway Biles. What's going on? Megan Biles, Petway. I'm sorry. But like I said, y'all, I'm gonna get y'all hooked up. Today. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. I damn let y'all see what the sights and sounds of the tracks and catch me a couple folks. I throw this mic in their face. Y'all know how I get out. Then after that, I'm going to get y'all to the live stream on the other side. That's going to be it. It's pretty old motor. What's going on, Troy? What's How going on, man? I'm hanging in there, man. How's it going? Your, got your bike figured out, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've always had it figured yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I did is just put my tune up back in and ride. Yeah, I got uh, William Jones tuning this fuel tech, man. He's, he's, he knows what he's doing. Knows what he's doing with it, huh? Get rid of that pandemic now. Hey, hey. COVID 19's gone on this bike. It's she, pandemic. She's out of uh, quarantine now. <laughs> <laughs> she's out of quarantine yeah. now. So I see this bike, I posted it, and the people it's, went crazy it's been a long on winter, it. But uh, well, this one, the, the one that you put on the Facebook that, that I took, this is it with all the stripes. So they went yeah, crazy yeah, this on this bike last year. They went crazy. It. A whole bunch of people like this motorcycle. Here's a first-hand shot of it too, man. Let's get a visual. I've seen one shot of it. Let me walk around, and let y'all see it. Troy has some really nice motorcycles, Kyle Psyches. He had one with fuel tech last year. One with a carburetor last right. year. This one's fuel tech, and fuel you tech. you stayed on that carb. You yeah, rode that carb yeah. on out last year. Well, because you know with the engine management, you know everybody, and I'm one of them too. That you know the engine management makes it a lot easier. Right. You know, once you get it. Right. I, mean, I went three four sixty twos with a hoe yesterday. Yeah. You know, so I never did that on my carburetor bike. Yeah, it's just back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, I guess the computer. You know, I love that. Yeah. But I told them on that carburetor bike, I bet I can turn that 62 into a 60. Quickly. Yeah. By yourself, though. By myself. Yeah. This, I can't do nothing to it. You know, I got William doing everything. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm learning it. But yeah. It's just a learning curve. Yeah. Learning it's curve. a lot more to learn. Yeah. But when I'm being told, once you... Once you It's a good progression. Really advanced. advanced. Yeah. Do you, I, I just wonder if it's going to take us out of here a little bit. No, because it, it, it goes right back to, you, I had that on there last year. I had to park, you know, you still got to put all the stuff in there to make it work. Correct. You know, like, I thought I had everything right. And ironic, I ironic, found all kinds of things I was doing wrong. Right. And that's going to happen to anybody else who buys it. Right. You know, they're not going to have someone there always. You know, they say, same with the fire storm. Have you ever looked at some other people's tune ups? Yeah. Like, how do they get down the track with that? <laughs> how are they not blowing it up? And yeah. They do the same thing with this. Right. Blow it up and, yeah. you know, it's 
So I guess it still falls down to you. You have the engine manual, but you still have to. You still have to find. You still got to do all the stuff anyway. You know, nothing yeah. against David Lagoria, but me, me and him couldn't get it to run. Right. We tried, and he knows fuel tank. Yeah. And I mean, I know I'd be 15 attempts next year. Never, never got it better than a 130, 60 foot. You know, that's why I parked it. Right. Well, you know? at any and rate, he knows fuel tank, and he's, he's pretty good with the fuel tank. Right. You know, so. But now you kind of got it where you want it. Yeah, that, now there's baby steps. Yes, I think that's, I think that, you're right. That, that baby steps now. I'm curious now if I leave that tune up right there and go to another track. It'll stop it from spinning. So if it's a breezy track, it'll, right. it'll take time out. Right. If it falls below the line, it'll, it'll add power and catch me back up. So I think, yeah, I think once you get it, you're fine. I well, think. well, good, man. Well, I, don't, I don't know 100%, but I think so. Well, how are you sitting in qualifying? You said a 61, oh, what, 62 oh. Yeah. Fifty nine, sixty one. I don't think he got management on his bike now too. Nah, I'm the manager. I know. I'm, 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 I'm the manager. <laughs> I'm the manager. Not yet. <laughs> Not unless you have to. Right. Unless I keep having to. I mean, everybody get it. I'm gonna be stuck out there by right. myself. I'm gonna have to do something, still, right? Like I said, it still falls down to you have to still. You still have to do it and make it do it. Right. Because if it was up to me, I could never. I would have just wake up. Right. Know? And me and David couldn't get it. David's a guru. Right. You know, so Sometimes it's a little bitty thing, though. Right. Yeah. Right. You got to have somebody. And he might need to be sitting in front of it, David. Right. Because everything he was doing pretty much was over the phone, right? But no, it, but you do it all online. See the run, you see everything live. Yeah. And it's all happening. But then he needs to see the motorcycle too. He might yeah, be I mean, one I of two would, things. Did you do anything on the motorcycle? Here's what's funny though. It's a short story. When I first got this last year, uh -huh. he was on the speaker talking to me, and he'd say rev it, and I'd rev it. And I'd put it on a two-step, and then it just shut off. And I was like, I don't know what I happened. remember that. And he said, I shut it off. Ohio. <laughs> I mean, how do you do that? That's Technology, crazy. baby. Yeah. I could do it with my work trucks. Yeah, he turned it off in Ohio. I just thought that was crazy. You know? Where'd you end up finishing, like three or four? Last year? Yeah. That was one round from the champion. You sure was? The second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you sure was. You... 009 to 132 like it did. You, you told me that last year. That you... would have made me win the championship. You said we was talking about who was behind us. We was like, hell, we don't know who's behind us. We know who's in front of us. <laughs> hey, man, I'll talk to you later, man. Appreciate the interview, man. All right. All right. That's my man, Troy Hilesman, Legion of Doom, running for Copio's. But here go my three, my champ, 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 champ. What's up, boss? What's up, champ? I had to keep tell, calling you champ, man. God dang, I'm gonna have to switch that around a little bit, man. I need you to call me champ one year. <laughs> Gotta get it done, though, ain't that right? Yeah. What's going on, man? Introduce yourself, good. boss. Ryan Procopio, Wake Forest, North Carolina. And tell them what you are. The 2021. One more, two back on the back. <laughs> three times and back to back. Oh, okay, and because you because you didn't go three back to back to back, it was two and then okay, three times right. overall. Boy, you a bad boy, boy. I was just over there talking to Hallsman, and he was talking about, he said, boy, you going to end up getting you a fuel tech on your bike, Hollywood. <laughs> he said, I thought you had went digital over there, man. You come off the trail, champ, you do it again, 61 old, something like that. Go back again. What you do the second pass? 60 with a 6. I mean, let me. A little more, a 60 with a 2. I mean, it's like that, boy. You just like boop, 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 boop. But it's just. It's, it's, watch today. What's, watch today? Today's going to be difficult. Weather change will mess everybody up. Yeah, we got a, a qualifier today, the same day we race, but it's going to be totally different. Yeah, because I know we went like 10 or 15 degrees different one day. I like the heat. You like the heat? I got plenty of chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, that's Ronnie P right here. This is a champ. 
three times 460i XDA champion. Trust me, that is a hell of a feat to take, take and get done up here because it is a lot of motorcycles up here every weekend. You do this every time with these guys, man. I've been racing for years, man. What, what is it that keeps you here, man? Straight up. What keeps you coming, man? It's more the camaraderie and hanging out, man. It's the racing is just a plus. I know we were both pros. You know, we still are pros, rather, but I mean, you know, we were out there with the, the engine type changing pros, <laughs> you know, every yeah. round, the difference. I mean, how you feel about what you're doing now versus when we were doing all that pro mod and extreme stuff? And I don't have to work on it. My bike don't go home in a box. I just leave it in the trailer. Don't see it till the next race. Do some old chains, spark plug. Check the valve, stuff like that, and that's it. And it, it, it makes racing so much more fun, I think. You push it to the limit. Yeah. Don't call for like so much more fun. Yeah. You get to spend time with your friends. As opposed to working on your bike all the time. Yeah. Hey man, I appreciate it, champ. Take it easy out there. Be safe today, all right? <laughs> They call him for 460 up there. What's up, there? What's up, y'all? All right. I'm all right. Doing good. Go get these cameras rolling. All right, guys and girls. Let's go ahead and get these cameras rolling real right quick. Robbie. Get your main live stream going so you can catch up with the racing. I'm going to get y'all up to the starting line. I need to get back there myself. Good morning, good morning. Got to get back myself and get my suit on. So, take y'all back up this way towards the star line. Make the lick, right? We ready, right? I know you are. Y'all warm up. <laughs> that my man, Big Boss. Why y'all don't know the Big Boss, Piggy Bowles, Nashville, Tennessee. Got 2020 ready. Right. They call the fire king. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, suit on right quick. Y'all wait for me. Also, happy birthday today, Rob Procopio. Vance and Hines 460 in either of the lanes right now for your final qualifying session. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bike out and then I'm gonna run up here and put that camera up on that tripod and come back. So I can push it up there. See, Wes Hawkins, he got the memory, he's putting heat in the motor. Hey, I gotta go to the star and rent quick and I'll be back, okay? Keep your mind. Get my helmet. Oh, this gotta go on, man. Night helmet, day helmet, gloves, backup gloves, music going. All these technology, phones, computers, everything. To do filming and racing. Now I go set y'all live stream up on the starting line. Get my jacket and I think I'm good to go. Thank y'all for rolling with me. Hope y'all enjoying the little behind the scenes. All right, let's go do one more thing here. Gotta get an umbrella. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna do the umbrella when I come back. Try to do everything at one time, but I will go put the camera up. I got, I, yeah, leave them right there. I'm gonna put them inside this time. Yeah, <laughs> he said he looking for them again. Lost my glass all last night. We had them in the trailer. Pinky found them for me. Put the zip pins up. Right, hey, look, I ain't show y'all, I ain't show y'all what we won up here. My bad. Yeah, right, right. The number seven plate last year, our first year racing in XDA. We did that missing. We did that with even missing one of the, uh, you can sleep in the trail. I was just going to do it for that. Put in the trail. We did that. We missed, actually missed the race last year. Uh, the last race of the year, we tore up two motors. Gear broke on, on the motor, 4.6 as y'all see, rolling up to the lanes right now. Got Megan Bowers with Durwood Rollins. This is the camera. This is where we are for stationary positioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all hooked up, see what I gotta do. I gotta put y'all stationary together while I'm actually still trying to race. Let me get it going. I'm gonna have to chime out actually because I'm on the same network. I'm about the, uh, the Vimeo that I'm the, the, the software I'm gonna use to get y'all on my 